Okay, hello everyone, me to Pete here and I'm back for the Heroes video. So today I'm going to be doing a Soldier Weapon tier list. Obviously uh, this is coming a bit later than I expected it to, so apologies for that. Um, first of all, I just want to say, um, you know, if you guys do have like BFH video ideas, stuff you want to, stuff that you want to see, uh, let me know, obviously, and if it's something that enough people want or it's just an idea I like or something, then, you know, hopefully I can make that happen. Um, just wanted to put that at the start of the video here in case, you know, it reaches more people or whatever, because I expect this video to be kind of long. I don't want it to be as long as the last one, but um, you know how that happens and how that works out. I also want to quickly say um, I've been having some technical issues. Basically, like, long story short, this laptop I'm using now is pretty old now. I've had it for a number of years. And I'm pretty sure, you know, it's almost at the end at this point. It's not really doing what I want it to a lot of the time. It's kind of difficult. This also affects the video process as well. So I know I've just said, okay, if you've got ideas, I mean, this is, you know, going to be difficult for a bit until I obviously get things sorted. But I just wanted to mention that um, just, just so... I've, I've, I've said it and that people are aware of it. So soldier weapons here, um, I'm pretty certain I've got them all, all the different types and varieties. There's quite a few because the soldier can actually use quite a lot of different weapons. Um, you know, you've got stuff ranging from like pistols to shotguns, stuff like that. So there's quite a lot of variety here. So yeah, let's, let's start. So long range pistol, that's got to be top tier. Very good. Um, yeah, basically one of the best soldier weapons in the game one of the best overall weapons in the game to be honest um crazy damage in long range really good damage in other ranges too um great ammo count very accurate amazing damage and um it's supposed to be like a obviously a, a slow firing weapon but to me like you can actually fire pretty quickly with it like if you're clicking quite fast there's not like any real issues with that it's actually pretty consistent pretty fast and yeah overall amazing weapon you can pair it with quite a lot of things obviously normally it would be the fast smg but you can choose a lot of other things because it is that just that good yeah so and obviously complementing abilities like blasting strike and other things you know um you can get someone back away from you into that into that preferred range stuff like that so yeah it's basically one of the best weapons in the game in my opinion i don't need to say in my opinion but yeah it is basically one of the most used soldier weapons Okay, so the uh, long range SMG, I'm just going to put that in OK tier. Because, I mean, again, like the damage on this is actually decent. You can get some pretty good damage numbers with it. It's also, um, I guess, a bit more, I don't want to say easier to use, but kind of in a way, like than the pistol, because obviously you're not just, um, just like clicking and, and choosing an enemy. Like, you're obviously just holding down the trigger. And uh, from range and obviously if you do get a group of people this is actually you know better than the pistol in some way because you know you can use burning bullets with it and you can obviously light up a whole group of people and do some pretty good damage um, but you know I, I'm putting it lower because uh, personally I use it less than the pistol anyway but also it is a lot less accurate you're gonna notice that if you use it um, and yeah you're just not gonna be as accurate as consistent and as strong but i do still think it's a good weapon so okay so the short range smg that's going to be very good for me you know just like, like i just said pairs very well with the pistol um long range pistol really good damage output great rate of fire very reliable you know moderate range close range um yeah just great weapon overall and um not much else you can say i mean everyone's like like knows this more or less a lot of people use it like the pistol you can also use this with a variety of setups as well um you know if you wanted to use this with like a long range shotgun or a long range smg or um you know obviously instead of the pistol or anything and the pistol pairs with a lot of things too so yeah the moderate range smg or the default one for me that's going to be not worth using basically like the damage just isn't there you know the damage is not good enough um you're just better off using the short range one to be honest um very very sort of specific uh sort of range of of use and it's not even good damage to begin with it's not even worth it in my opinion um again like you could say burning bullets can sort of help salvage it a bit but you might as well just use any of the smg with burning bullets instead um yeah i mean i believe in the gunner video i basically put the the gunner default machine gun a bit higher but that's because frenzy fire i feel makes a bigger impact um this i've never really liked using 
I've always thought this was one of the worst in the game. So there you go. Okay, now the moderate range shotgun, uh, default shotgun. Yeah, that, that's got to be right there with the SMG. Um, this is a thing, like, we, I think I said last time, like, certain weapons I'm going to place differently depending on the class that can use them. I'm going to put the shotguns a bit lower for soldier just because I don't use them as much. And also I feel like uh, because the soldier doesn't have, you know, leg it or a proper... A reliable like mobility option it's going to be harder to sort of get into these shotgun ranges and it's going to be hard to use in my opinion a lot of shotgun setups that the gunner probably makes easier so yeah i'm just going to put it this low um again like i don't see a reason to take this as a soldier all right the fast pistol yeah um again this goes back to the whole mobility thing um but it's not just that with this pistol i feel like you also need the element of surprise so yeah i think that's a much better weapon for a commando um yeah i just don't see a situation where the soldier would be using this um like i, I mean the damage is pretty decent point blank but like you know you, you should just take <laughs> you should just take a short range smg there's no reason to use the short range pistol um i just don't yeah, like I say, I don't see the point. You need a lot of things to go your way, and a lot of the time, I think those things favour the commando a lot more than the soldiers. So, yeah, I wouldn't really use this as a soldier. Um, TNT, obviously, I've got to put that in not worth using as well. Basically, just the worst explosive. Um, yeah, I mean, you guys should know this. I've said before, like, new players will obviously try it for a bit, and then they'll realise there's a lot of other options, and they can actually get something that actually does you know the job a lot better um yeah just a difficult weapon to use and again i feel like the soldier has um better options definitely for explosives too all right so the fast shotgun i'm actually going to put that in okay tier and some people might think that needs to be lower again just because of how you might play soldier and again the whole mobility aspect but i do actually still like this shotgun quite a lot enough for me to put it you know in the middle here even as a soldier um can work somewhat with the long range uh, shotgun or a long range uh, pistol uh, but yeah again you need kind of a favorable map for it i, I wouldn't say this is going to be too easy for people to use um but yeah i do like it like personally so it's more of a favorite of mine that's why it's got to be in the middle for me basically but i have had success with it okay the scoped smg yeah, I mean, I wasn't really a fan of this in the Gunner video either. Um, still, still not really. Um, same reasons, to be honest. Like, the the scope is kind of worthless. And um, if you use burning bullets, it also uh, zooms you out a bit. Not really very practical at all. Um, yeah, it's just kind of a weird weapon. I like how it looks. Like, the, the skin is quite cool. But the actual, like, scope itself is pretty stupid not very good um yeah so like with the um the moderate range smg i just don't really see a reason to use it and um the the scope like i say doesn't really do its job very well okay the grenade launcher i'm gonna put that in okay and uh yeah this is obviously a step up from tnt for sure um can be better on the soldier than the gunner at least because obviously the soldier doesn't have anything like the tank buster um yeah like obviously the damage uh, can be decent on infantry can be quite an annoying weapon to uh, disrupt enemy movement like bounce uh, enemies around a bit um damage on groups can be pretty good as well um obviously you've got the fact that you can get onto higher places with it uh but yeah i'm i don't think it's the best explosive for soldiers it's definitely better than tnt and i, I do think it's you know uh should be a tier above above tnt but um yeah it's still not the best to me um but it's not terrible either all right so the tech nine um i guess yeah let's just put it here unless i can move it there we go yeah not worth using again kind of similar to the short range pistol i know that they're, they're kind of different in how they do work but they, they're kind of a similar concept um i just don't see a situation where this is going to be kind of practical or good enough in a serious game to use it uh as the soldier especially i feel like you need um a lot of things to go your way and it's not worth it at all um 
yeah so again like the the weapon is kind of interesting you can get some good crits with it but um, I'm going to come to another weapon soon that obviously is a similar concept with like the crits but it's a lot easier to use and a lot more reliable so I can't even like give it that I can't even say okay it's got some good crits so it's worth it it's not really so okay the battle rifle finally getting to another top tier weapon um, yeah the damage is insane um, this is a burst fire weapon uh, free shot burst really strong damage in all ranges pretty much obviously long range is the worst damage and it sort of drops off uh, in accuracy as well but again that's why you would pair it with you know a reliable long range option like a pistol for example but yeah the damage is pretty devastating you can actually um, do fairly well against gunners um, in like kind of closer ranges uh, with that it is it is that powerful so yeah I definitely recommend this um, or at least try and get out uh, maybe it's not for everyone because of the burst fire I actually think it's pretty good and I don't really have any issues with like using it um, in terms of like how it works uh, it's not really a big issue for me to switch from like an automatic to a, a, a semi-auto or a burst fire something like that it's not really a big deal all right so this is another long range pistol but the thing is uh, this one's kind of different so i'm going to put it in okay tier i'm going to explain why and you guys might you know might think differently but basically the gimmick behind this pistol was it, it has one less ammo than the pistol that i put higher up um but in exchange for that the whole deal was you had like a shotgun alternate fire like an attachment and uh, obviously that meant that you could use it up close uh the damage was kind of weak um i mean obviously you know as of right now we can't really use the attachments and stuff but yeah so like based on that logic i think it, it's worse it's a downgrade to, to the pistol that's higher that i've put higher than that long range pistol so i'd i not saying it's terrible because it's still a long range pistol but I, I don't see why you would take this when obviously the the attachment isn't working anyway um, even from the old game it wasn't really that powerful but at least it was something but yeah um, less ammo to me isn't isn't great um, I would prefer to have some extra ammo just in case you know that can sometimes make up for either um, you know some missed shots or you know if an enemy is just refusing to die um, you might have been maybe like one or two shots away from killing them and if you've got to reload yeah it's not too ideal um, I'm just not a fan of that so um, it's still not a bad weapon at all because it's basically still a long range pistol but yeah hopefully like those reasons make sense to you guys um, like why I'm not a fan of it but uh, yeah a bit, bit of a strange one bit of a kind of weird sort of nitpicky one but sometimes that's how this can be okay so this is going to be the moderate range pistol again I don't really have much to add to this um, damage is pretty good um, in its preferred range fire rates actually quite decent as well but again like for me the only pistol worth using on a soldier is the long range one um, yeah I just don't I, I've never been in a situation where I've used the soldier seriously with these other pistols and that includes the moderate range one sadly I do like it um, you know on commando and obviously when I get to the commando list maybe I'll do things differently I'm sure I will but um, yeah I just can't recommend it on soldier as a serious thing so the long range shotgun uh, that's gonna be very good for me again top tier weapon said it before you know great damage across the board all ranges decent ammo count obviously the rate of fire makes sense but dual long range shotguns is as powerful and as effective on soldier in my opinion as it is on gunner um, just because you don't really need the mobility as much um, and yeah I feel like you can still do really well with it to be honest and um, yeah a lot of the soldiers abilities can complement it quite well too yeah so it's quite devastating and even taking away the dual aspect like the shotgun on its own is just very reliable again you can use this with um, you know a fast SMG a fast shotgun or you can do the dual setup there's other options of course as well but yeah like really really solid weapon so right next to it I'm gonna put the assault shotgun same thing really like um, not in terms of duels again I've said before like that's kind of awkward I think but maybe some people could get the hang of it but yeah like very consistent damage it doesn't land crits but the base damage is really really good uh, very reliable pretty solid backup weapon um, yeah definitely have a lot of good things to say about it next I'm gonna go over the warfighter in very good um, this is very similar to the battle rifle in terms of damage 
Um, the main difference is, uh, well, the main difference is the fact that like the the battle rifle is a free shot burst, but the warfighter is actually a single like semi-auto. So you have to do quite a lot of clicking uh, to get the damage out there. So again, some people might prefer that. Some people might hate that idea. Um, so th there are options between the two, obviously, you know, depending on what you want to, you know, what you want to do. But um, yeah, like really solid weapon. It's also got that like laser dot uh, crosshair, which maybe some people will find kind of uh, easier to aim with or whatever. But yeah, it's just kind of interesting, very powerful. And again, like I said with the battle rifle, you can um, put out some surprisingly good damage and uh, you can actually hold your own against um, gunners in certain situations uh, with it as well, which is pretty nice. Alien shotgun, I'm going to put that in okay. Basically, I, I, I do, again, think the damage is amazing, you know, same as the assault shotgun. And you've got the the option to move enemies around, disrupt the movement. You can also get higher up onto, you know, higher areas. But also, you know, the, the ammo is kind of low and I feel like it, it does sort of, that, that does become an issue. Like I said, with the other pistol that it's next to, you know, I do think the ammo can be an issue. So again, not terrible by any means, but I, I do think in this instance, I'm going to put it slightly lower. So the repeater rifle, I actually forgot about it. Like it was kind of a forgettable weapon to me. Um, but actually, like when I went back and looked at it, the damage is actually pretty good. It's a very uh, interesting sort of backup weapon, uh, kind of similar to some shotguns and like the damage output, but it can actually be really good. Um, yeah, but again, I'm not going to put it higher. I just, I don't have enough sort of experience with it. I, and I'm not like, you know, a huge fan as a result as well. But yeah, it's definitely worth considering. It's still pretty good. Um, as like a backup weapon. All right, another pistol here. Um, this is the closed beta one. Um, if you don't know about it, basically it's um, a, a semi-auto pistol, um, basically um, single shot, but for close range. Same thing, you know, with um, the other pistols, uh, apart from long range, like, yeah, this is kind of difficult to use. Um, maybe more so for some people because of the semi-auto aspect. Uh, yeah, it, it is a cool pistol, but for soldier, I just don't recommend it whatsoever. And another weapon for OK tier, yeah, this is the crit weapon I was talking about earlier, the Lucky Sprayer. Um, very, very strong weapon, very reliable with the amount of crits you can get. Um, it's quite high chance and um, yeah, like you can do pretty well with it. I still don't think it's good enough to be at the very top um, compared to some of the other like SMG types I've put there. But yeah, this is, this is still pretty top tier for me. The Robot Chopper SMG whatever you want to call it again like this is another weapon that i had to go back and use to kind of remember it to be honest um and yeah this is basically a lot better than the default smg this is uh, pretty much a, a stock upgrade for the most part um again should have like an alternate fire that isn't working but that wasn't even like that amazing to begin with to be honest um the damage itself sort of you know it does enough that you know that speaks for itself yeah, definitely, in my opinion, pretty reliable SMG, and it should be in the middle tier, because the damage is just so much better than the default one. Okay, so this one, the space SMG, uh, laser SMG, that's got to be not worth using. Um, I do actually find it quite fun to use, but it is very weak. Um, it shoots pretty fast, it's kind of accurate like the other laser type weapons. The damage is really awful um, up close and long range. Moderate range it's okay, but I still think a lot of other SMGs either do the job better or they're just more reliable overall. But um, yeah, you can obviously light a group of people on fire with burning bullets pretty easily, even from long range because it's quite accurate like I said and it's quite fast. But the damage is going to be like really terrible. You're just going to see like plus ones, plus twos and stuff. So yeah, the damage is not there at all. And um, again, another alternate fire situation. Um, in my opinion, this in the old game had one of the worst alternate fires ever. It basically used like half the ammo clip and um, it was kind of hard to aim it and to use it. And the damage was not worth it. Like you could have um, basically in most situations just fired your normal fire for the whole amount of the clip it would have used and you would have done more damage so yeah and it had like a short like charge up to it so yeah i just don't think it's worth considering for a lot of people um overall so the demon shotgun that's going to be an okay as well um 
I, I, I did say last time, and this is true, like it's slightly worse in some ranges or in a certain situation to the other fast machine gun, to the other fast shotgun, sorry. Um, but yeah, I, I still don't think it's bad enough to be put in with the other stuff at the bottom there. Um, now that I think about it, it shouldn't be that low. So yeah, um, you know, you guys know I'm a fan of these types of shotguns anyway. Um, still don't think it's really bad but it's not great either it's just you know should just be in the middle tier in my opinion all right so now we come to what i think is the best explosive for soldier i think a lot of people would agree the single hand grenade um really really strong weapon um you know you can hit some kind of devastating damage numbers here um like 60 on a single person uh directly or if you throw it into a group of people yeah it's going to be pretty crazy damage numbers um yeah, re really reliable, honestly. Um, kind of easy to just throw it down if you're escaping. You know, if, you, if you're trying to run around a corner, just throw it down. Someone's trying to follow you and they get hit by it. You know, taking 60 damage is quite a big deal. Um, that may change the course of a fight in a lot of situations. And um, yeah, you can use it with regular grenade spam, of course. Just like throw, throw the grenade spam, then throw that down afterwards. Um, but yeah, a lot of people are going to be using this. It's pretty reliable. Um, and in some situations people won't even see that it's on the ground and they'll take some pretty strong damage obviously you know we're talking about direct hits here but it's it's definitely it's definitely worth it you know you can pull off a lot of devastating uh, damage uh, hits and kills of it so yeah I do enjoy using this quite a lot okay so the robots uh, long-range SMG yeah, I'm actually putting this higher than the other long range SMG, and you might be wondering why I'm doing that. And the reason is, I mean, to be honest, I might have done this in the old game as well, but um, I'll explain. But basically, I believe more recently this was buffed so that the fire rate is actually slightly better. So it's just it's just better. Like it's a slight upgrade to the other long range SMG. So I just think it is good enough to be at the top there. Um, still don't think I'd use it over a pistol in most situations, but it is quite reliable still. Um, and that increased rate of fire will actually help quite a bit. But um, going back to what I was saying about the old game, you know, the alternate fire was insane. Like, this was actually, like, one of the best alternate fires, in my opinion, uh, that the old game had. So, like, basically you would fire this, like, um, orb that would float in the air. And it sort of fly slowly towards the enemy or the direction that you were firing it and basically like it would shoot them up into the air like an rpg shot it was crazy um and you could also use it on yourself to get higher up too um yeah so it's quite a devastating alternate fire but i i still think like even while that's not available that extra increase in the fire rates means that it should be at the top there it is it is a pretty powerful weapon to be honest okay the blow lamp sadly i've got to put it here i did consider putting it like one tier higher just because it's quite cool but um yeah the blow lamp i feel is hard to use on a soldier um obviously at the moment like only the soldier and the commander can use it uh i feel like the soldier it's just gonna have a hard time using it and again the whole thing is really like you'd be replacing um you know if you're going to choose any of these explosives that i put here in you know not worth using an okay you got to think they're taking up the the slot of the single hand grenade so it's really it's really tough competition with the grenade launcher especially for some people um but i mean even if you play like vehicle maps a lot you'd think okay the blow lamp's gonna be pretty good against uh you know jeeps and stuff i don't know i still think it's really difficult to use it and i would prefer to take the single hand grenade in almost every scenario so i do like the blow lamp i think it's fun um but yeah i just don't think it's a weapon that you can get working quite easily or well enough uh, as a soldier it's not really as reliable as i would like okay the d-day rifle i'm putting this here because this was actually um like one of a couple of custom weapons coming up uh, that they added in a couple of years back yeah i'm um, pretty strong it's kind of similar i think to the, to the repeater itself like um you know pretty strong damage um like headshot wise and stuff and uh yeah just just really good damage overall and uh, a good backup weapon um i think it's called the m1 garand again this is another like custom one um damage is okay uh fire rate's decent fairly accurate again i wouldn't take it over a longish pistol or anything but 
I think the damage is pretty good um, overall. It can be quite reliable damage, and it's fairly accurate, but still not good enough to me to be higher than OK tier. Um, but yeah, it's not a bad like um, new weapon that was added. OK, let's add this one to it. So this is another custom weapon. This is like a new custom SMG. I, I think I did a video on most of this stuff anyway, but like um, a few years back. From what I know, this is uh, pretty fast firing. It does fire pretty fast. Um, you know, it's another close range SMG. Um, and the ammo count's higher, but I think overall the damage is a, a, a fair bit less than the standard, like fast close range SMG. Based on that, I, I do put it a bit lower, but that's not to say it's it's bad because it's not. It's still pretty strong. And um, like I say, um, ammo count is a bit higher, but yeah, I think overall the damage is, is still worse. Okay, and we're going to put the flamethrower again in not worth using um, next to the blow lamp. Um, I guess that's appropriate. But yeah, I I've never really had a lot of success using the flamethrower. I think I've always rated it quite low. Um, I think the soldier can kind of struggle to use it. Not to say it's not interesting or a kind of, uh, you know, fun weapon to some extent. But like, yeah, I've just always had problems using it and had difficulty. Um... Yeah, so that's basically the reason. Um, it's kind of interesting because it's got like its own burn effect. So um, it's like a having burning bullets without having burning bullets kind of thing. So that's kind of cool. Um, it does like an extra like um, tick of like one damage over time. So if you do pair that with burning bullets, they do sort of stack. So that's kind of interesting. But again, like I said, you know, I've always had trouble using it. Um, to get into the range because obviously you do have to be point blank it's not like you've got the freedom like you would with the the AK for example um, you know it's kind of difficult to to get in range and to use it again because of the soldiers mobility um, but yeah I think overall it is a cool weapon but if I'm talking about like you know reliability and, and all that stuff it, it's to me not not worth it kind of fun to use just to light people on fire like commandos can be quite effective on you know people using knives and stuff and I want to say like in the old game I don't know if this happens as much now maybe it's just because of how things were back then but like I remember this weapon like lagging a lot of people's PCs so it's kind of funny in that sense but um you know if you're getting shot by it or whatever but yeah I just don't think it is um worth being higher up on the list here Okay, my apologies guys, missed off the pirate pistol for some reason, but that's going to go in okay tier for me. So again, you know, the damage is good, pretty decent, obviously headshots, you're going to get more. Um, but um, yeah, I, I still think it's kind of average these days. I, I would still prefer a long range pistol or a long range shotgun of some kind. Not to say it's impossible to use or anything, because it's not. But um yeah, for me, it's still just kind of average. I'm, I'm not sure why I missed it off, guys. I'm hoping I haven't missed off any other weapons. Uh, this is what happens when you don't play the game for quite a while. And um, there's quite a lot to choose from, I guess. Like I said, the soldier's got quite a lot of choice. Probably the most out of all the classes, to be honest. So, yeah. Um, hopefully, this was okay. Um, tried to get for it quicker, but I, I'm pretty sure it was more or less the same as last time. So, apologies if you don't like long videos. Um... But uh, yeah, so maybe you agree with these, maybe you don't. Um, I've been kind of harsh with quite a few here. Um, but when you've got that many to choose from, I guess that's just what happens. But um, yeah, if you've got anything different, you know, that you think uh, about, about this selection, obviously let me know. But um, yeah, that was it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.